the Rosetta Stone, the key that unlocked a lost language. Imagine holding in your hands the key to an ancient, forgotten language, lost to time for nearly two millennia. That is the story of the Rosetta Stone, one of the most important archaeological finds in history. More than just a slab of stone, it is a symbol of human persistence and intellectual curiosity, a story of how we learn to read the secrets of the ancient Egyptian world. A fortunate discovery in the sands of Egypt. The story begins in 1799 during Napoleon Bonaparte's campaign in Egypt. While French soldiers were fortifying the small town of Rashid, Rosetta, on the Nile Delta, they uncovered something that would forever change our understanding of the ancient world. Buried in the rubble was a large, black basalt slab, measuring about 45 inches tall and 28 inches wide. It didn't look like much, just another artifact from Egypt's vast ancient history. But what made it unique was the inscription carved into it. The Rosetta Stone was not merely a piece of historical decoration. It held the same text in three different scripts. Ancient Greek, Demotic, a common script used by the people of Egypt, and Egyptian hieroglyphs. Unbeknownst to its discoverers, this would become the most important puzzle piece in deciphering Egyptian hieroglyphs, a writing system that had been mysterious and undecipherable for centuries. The puzzle of the three scripts. Why three different scripts? The answer lies in the time the stone was created. The Rosetta Stone dates back to 196 BCE, during the Ptolemaic dynasty, a period when Greek rulers ruled over Egypt after Alexander the Great's conquests. The decree inscribed on the stone honored King Ptolemy Futh, and it was essential that the message be accessible to three key audiences, the Greek rulers, the Egyptian priests, and the general population who used Demotic. The text itself is not particularly remarkable. It is a decree praising the king for his generosity, but the fact that it was written in three languages made it invaluable to scholars. It was the ancient Greek text that ultimately cracked the code. The race to decipher the stone for centuries, scholars had been fascinated by the mystery of Egyptian hieroglyphs. The symbols were seen as strange, exotic, and unintelligible. Attempts to decode them had failed time and time again. But now, with the Rosetta Stone in hand, there was hope. The key was that ancient Greek was a known language. By comparing the Greek text to the other two scripts, scholars could attempt to match up corresponding words and symbols. The race to decode the stone was on, and it was an intellectual battle between some of Europe's greatest minds. The two main contenders in this race were Thomas Young, a British polymath, and Jean-Francois Champollion, a French linguist. Young made the first breakthrough when he identified that some of the hieroglyphs represented sounds, not just objects or ideas. But it was Champollion, in 1822, who finally cracked the full code and unlocked the language of the ancient Egyptians. He realized that the hieroglyphs combined both phonetic and symbolic elements, which allowed for the translation of not only the Rosetta Stone, but countless other Egyptian texts. The impact of the Rosetta Stone. The Rosetta Stone was more than just a linguistic curiosity. It opened the door to understanding one of the greatest civilizations in human history. Suddenly, the temples, tombs, and scrolls of ancient Egypt could be read. The stories of the pharaohs, their gods, and their way of life were no longer a mystery. The Rosetta Stone has become a symbol of the power of knowledge and human determination. It demonstrated that, with the right tools and persistence, even the most difficult puzzles could be solved. Egyptology as a field of study was born out of this discovery and the world's fascination with ancient Egypt has only grown since then. A viral icon of history, in modern times, the Rosetta Stone has become a viral symbol of translation and understanding. Even today, people refer to something as the Rosetta Stone of a subject if it unlocks a major mystery. The stone itself is one of the most visited artifacts at the British Museum in London, where it has been on display since 1802. Its fame has spread beyond history books and museums. Software companies have named language learning tools after it, and the phrase Rosetta Stone has become shorthand for a breakthrough discovery. Just as a viral GitHub repository might change how developers approach a problem, the Rosetta Stone changed how the world approached the study of ancient history. What if it was never found? Had the Rosetta Stone never been discovered, 
we may still be in the dark about the richness of Egyptian culture. Without the ability to read hieroglyphs, entire chapters of human history would remain locked away. The beauty of the pyramids, the mysteries of mummification, and the stories of the pharaohs would be visually stunning, but their deeper meanings lost to time. The Rosetta Stone is a reminder of the importance of preserving history and how even the smallest discoveries can unlock entire worlds of knowledge. Much like a viral moment that sparks a global conversation, this stone triggered an intellectual revolution that forever changed our understanding of ancient Egypt.